Hello everyone, I'm Dragolup and welcome back to Minecraft Age of Engineering. When we last left off, our little emiratic, empowered emiratic was going and these batteries got demolished. They are completely empty. Before we started, they were completely full. Now they're completely empty. Uh, so what I'm going to do is turn this into emiratic crystals and now... We could probably make our silk touch augment so we can start working on uh, the uh, the void miner. But but I'm going to throw these. I know we made them last episode, but I'm going to throw them into this chest because today we're actually going to work on getting a better source of power. Uh, it may not be the best source of power for for this time of, of time of thing, but it's a better source than we have. Com already so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make us some oil generators basically it requires reinforced stone which is just wood and uh cobblestone in an atom was it the calculator yeah just a straight up calculator let me see if i can find my calculator i think it might still be at my other other base yeah it's still over there so let's go over here grab our calculator uh, where'd you go, calculator? There it is. Grab my calculator. Grab both of them, actually, because slowly moving the stuff over there. Slowly. What is? We have reinforced. Hey, we have reinforced stone already. But then I guess I don't need to make any. So now that we need, we need an empowered canola seed. So an empowered canola seed is basically canola seeds surrounding a crystallized canola, and the crystallized canola we've made before already. Basically, what we do is we take canola seeds. So I'm just grab a stack. Actually, grab two stacks. Uh, I'll just uh, and then take half of this stack and basically put it in front of the atomic reconstructor, and it turns them into crystallized canola. So now what we do is we'll just put this there with boom, 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 boom. It shouldn't take very long. And pow pow! You get an empty hand. Now we have empowered canola seeds. Yes. And as far as I, as far as I can tell, it didn't take that much power. So I'm actually going to make quite a few of them uh, while I'm here. Probably need to find a way to hopper this stuff in here so that way I can. All I got to do is just grab it. But. Uh, yeah, so now that we've got some empowered canola seeds, I went ahead and took the liberty because I knew we were needing this power system today. Uh, I went, I'm going ahead and, went ahead and took the liberty of... Wait, I can't... Okay, right click, right click, right click. Uh, went, the, went ahead and took the liberty of making the uh, advanced machine casings or the, uh, the casings that we need for today's episode. So that way we don't have to sit there and have to wait to get them cooking or you have to wait on them being crafted because because they're already crafted yeah so let me grab this let's make one more and it should be okay there we go one more perfect six is fine uh so what we need now is the reinforced stone plus the two casings as as you can see here i've already put them in here so now we just need to put that, that crystallized, uh, empowered canola in the middle, and wham, bam, we have ourselves an oil generator. Now, this puppy is going to establish our power a great, great deal. And I'm going to use it mostly to power the empowerers at this moment, uh, because, well, honestly, everything's hooked up to this one thing here. So what I'm thinking about doing is making this little area over here. Oh, look at that. Got some... Uh, copper back here yeah look at that so what I'm gonna do is I'm thinking about putting making this little uh, area over here our oil generator I am going to make quite a few of these I'm gonna make a whole mess of them but for now I think only uh, I'm only gonna be able to support is just one uh, so basically now what we've got to do is I need to find a way let's get through here I gotta make sure that's got a a very clear okay that's that's pretty close I need to move this up one more then that's pretty close it's, it's pretty close indeed so just go ahead and open this up open floor plan why not there we go 
so now what I'll need to do is go grab my connectors, grab one of these, and grab a wire. And the cool thing about the HV connectors that most people don't realize is that the, they, their connections go super, super far. So I can be able to do something like that. And it basically will power everything that we've got going on. So it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. So I'm going to put this away. I put my calculators and stuff in here as well, as long, along with that. Um, I don't have the resources at the moment to make my second in oil. But anyway, so the what uh, you're asking yourself, where do we get this oil from? So in order for us to get this oil that for the oil generator, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a... Uh, Matt, was it uh, actually? Uh, I'll see it. I'll know it if I see it. I've made them before in my my other world. Ah, canola press. So we need a advanced coil with an Inyori crystal and some cobblestone with along with some canola. And with all of the stuff that we have in our inventory, uh, we've got good going. Good. So we'll grab a stack of canola, and we'll need a gold. Uh, let's grab four of these, and one of these, and eight of these. Perfect. So, boom, 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 boom. There we go. And then surround it with gold wire. There we go. So now that we've got that, canola press, we need a Nuyori crystal, which is basically a piece of iron in front of the matter receiver, or... Uh, the laser dude. Let's see. What else do we need? What else do we need? Ah, uh, cobblestone. So we got plenty of that. So there we go. And there's something. I feel like I'm something. I'm missing something. Oh, our gold thing. What? what? Ah, canola goes in the middle. It's kind of got to get confused there for a second. All right. So now that we've got our canola press, there's one more thing that I want to do. We could, like, straight up make canola or oil from the press, sure. But to make it one step further and make it better, we need a fermenting barrel, which is not that bad at all. We need is just a wooden casing, which is just some sticks and some wood. And I think we need a couple of logs. So I'll just grab just a handful, just not that many. So you need some more logs. Okay. Did it grab enough? Hmm. I didn't think I... I thought I had grabbed enough. I thought I hit six times. Oh, well. We get it. We'll get it. Just a little walkie back and forth. So, wood casing. There we go. And we need another Inyori crystal. And uh, it looks like one more log. So, one more piece of iron. <laughs> And one more log. And then now that once we get a lot of these up and running, I have the resources to make some more presses. I think uh, what I need is like maybe one press to two fermenting barrels. But for now, I'm going to just do one to one just to show you, just to show everybody how to hook it up and how to how to make it run and how to, to do like some cool stuff. So I'm going to make some room over here. The, I think it's not, the fermenting barrel is not the one that needs the power. It's the canola press that needs the power. Yeah, canola press needs power. So it's not that bad. Not that bad. So let me grab one more of my HV connector. Yeah, I'm going to need, I'm going to have to go get, uh, make some more. That's okay though. That's why we go out and mining and doing the resource hunts and stuff. So now I should be able to connect there. It's obstructed. All right, raise the roof. There we go. And boom. Sh that should be filling it with power. Yes, indeedy. And what we'll do is we'll just throw, we'll just throw our uh, canola in there. And that canola should be producing canola oil, which is being put into the fermenting barrel. The fermenting barrel is now basically putting it uh as fermenting it making it uh better oil so now uh we won't be able to make it to the third tier yet i mean we could because we do have empowered canola seeds but i'm not going to do that yet because there's no actual way that i can uh, automate it successfully 
So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if I can't pipe it. Is it going in there? Yes! Yes, we're piping it in there. And this is making 100 RF a tick. Whereas I think the regular canola oil... Let's see, the regular canola oil does what? Let's look at the page. Uh, canola oil, does it even say... Uh, for starters, you can convert fermenting barrel to canola oil into oil. Oh, okay. So we did we did need the fermenting barrel. And then we can go even further by putting in a, a crystallized seed. And then we can go one step further and put the empowered seed. So this is the base, the base oil. I thought it was the step number two. But no, this is the base oil. And... Uh, So if we decided we wanted to make it better, we need to find a way to like put it on the ground. So I don't know how if there's any way to do that with this setup, but uh, we'll f we'll find a way. We'll find a way. So what I want to do now is I still have access to the top, right? Okay. So I want to go grab some more canola seeds, or some can more some yeah, some more canola. Just grab like a stack of five, you know, two five stacks, whatever. Make sure this is all up and running. And I could go even one step further and make, like I said earlier, I could make another fermenting barrel because this thing is full and it's just it's just gone. And this is getting full, which is good. I mean, it'll keep it, keep it up and par. But this the canola press will eventually um, will fill up, stay full. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. But uh, the more the more generators we get, the more generators we'll be able to... to you know, you, more oil we'll need, and then then we'll, we'll expand this operation probably a hundredfold because the oil is, is very, very good. But I don't know if there's a way that I can... I wonder if I can use one of those... Um, one of these casting bases. Because I know that the um, transfer pipes can interact with the casting basin. It'd be interesting to test. Let me test a theory out. Oh, wow, I could have put it just there. Yeah. Will it fill up? No. All right, what about if I do it like this? Will it fill up there? No? What about if I put it here? Will it fill up there? No? Maybe it cannot accept that liquid. I don't know. I don't even know. I'm not really, like, familiar with the extra utilities, uh you know, power transfer, wet, uh, fluid transfer, and all that good stuff. I don't even know if it would, if it's possible to put that stuff on the ground, then uh, I could get like a, a dropper or something. And you just keep it full of, of, you know, oil. Let me see. Is there a way? Let's do this. Let's break this. Is there a way to make you output? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Well, if you know of any way to automate this prior to getting into the uh, the Ender Age, I think that's the the well, either that or the Atomic Age. But the Ender Age, I think we can get into thing. Oh yeah, we can get into biodiesel, which is which is very 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 good. And I think we can automate that as well. Um, but right now we're in the empowering age. We've basically done everything so far. So what, now that we've actually supplemented our power, this is making really, really good. Our, our batteries are charging up fairly fast. So what I'm thinking about doing now is now that I've got, you know, oil up and coming, um, is I may, I may go ahead and put like get like three or three or four more. Well, I'll just need some more resources. Which shouldn't be a big deal because I think I have everything needed to make at least a couple more. And yeah, I've, I've got plenty of resources. I just need some more of the uh, mixed metal ingots. Well, actually, I got enough for two more now anyway. We could probably make another one. Look at that. We just need some more iron. It shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Let's get some... Uh, get 18 yeah well I, I grabbed 19 but that's fine that's fine grab two blocks and then put this away 
And then we can put this two blocks in the cutting and just make some more. But yeah, now that we've got that done, that looks like we're pretty good. I may go ahead and make another fermenting barrel off camera. Uh, that way it's, it, it does very, very well. I'll need to find a way to make some more of these water, these fluid transfer nodes, because they're going to be able to, to the, the premature automation for now, uh, before we get into the, like, the major, major stuff, like Ender IO and things of that nature, which, uh, to be honest, I have to learn the mods, but I do know by watching people like Direwolf20 and, and other YouTubers that do, that did the Age of Engineering packs before myself, um, like, I've learned a lot from just watching them so hopefully I don't look like a derp <laughs> going through these these but so far so good we've got everything hooked up everything looks like it's running fantastic it's just a matter of getting all of this power up and running which we look like we're doing a hundred hundred uh, RF a tick which is not too bad for starter power I mean we we have been running on uh, like solar power we're still running on solar power but now that we've actually got like a stable stable source i just have to make sure that we keep this uh, canola press full of canola which should be that hard considering you know i just throw, throw a bunch in the hopper and it does its thing so but yeah all right is, are you done uh yes you are done uh, are you done yes you are done so i guess what i'll do is i'll go ahead and make another let's go ahead and go two Boom, boom. One, two, one, two. There we go. And then now I think... Oh, I forgot what the... What it was, it oil. Oil generator! We just need some more. Another empowered canola. And we need some iron and some quartz There's eight there and uh, eight there and then we should be able to do two 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 and two 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 and two boom boom and so we could put that there put another empowered one there and then I just need that stone again which shouldn't I need just six of it. This stuff is so, so nice. So easy to make. And it looks cool. It looks really cool. So, yeah. Look at this. Another coal gener uh, oil generator. And what I'm going to do is I may need to make a small, like, small battery. And that can... I don't know how to... I could, with this, does that work? That work? No, that's not going to work, is it? No. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a small, small battery to, to separate these, because I don't think that's going to, uh, I don't think that's going to work. But I can at least hook it up to the oil, so that way it starts producing power. It's not draining its power, but uh, yeah, we can easily fix that. We can easily, easily fix. Hey, give me that back. Uh, let's look up HV because I do need to make some more and just as a little refresher if nobody is if people have forgotten uh, you to make L, uh, HVs we need MVs to make MVs we need LVs to make LVs we need copper hardened clay which I don't think we have any more hardened clay Wait, I could have swore we had some again it's probably over at this this place uh, we've got a bunch of LV, and we got a bunch of MV. We may just go with that. Me, we may just go with that. I forgot where all my clay was. Hmm. Could have swore I had a whole bunch of hardened clay. I might have used it all. No worries though. We can make some more. We can make some more. Okay. There we go. So, let's just get some hardened clay. I think it's like, what, four per... 
I know my clay's over here. Where's my clay? Oh, no, it's not over here. My clay's right here, which we have. Oh, wow, we've got a bunch. So let's just go ahead and start putting. Uh, let's turn this off. Uh, how do you make hardened clay? Can we make hardened clay? From that? Oh, yeah. We can just make it simple. 16 hardened clay. Just throw it in the furnace. It's not bad. Yeah, I'm slowly, even though I built a huge sm uh, smeltery, I'm slowly getting away from it. But anyway, now that we've got some LV... Uh, we can now start making the HV, which then requires hardened clay and some iron. So let's just grab a stick. So we'll be able to make all but one. We'll be able to make three. Not too bad. Not too bad. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that's iron. Yeah. Okay. So now we're just waiting for the hardened clay to come up. go so one two three one two three that makes the MV let's just go ahead and turn it all into that and then now we can make six HV with we need some aluminium let's just grab a stack so I'll do this and do this get some HV out of there so now I can put that, put back all of this other stuff. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, once I find where that extra LV connector went, I should be able to make uh, some more MV. So, but now that we've actually got this HV connector, we're good. So then I'll just do that. Grab a piece of wire. Connect and connect boom now we have two oil generators going and that's 200 rf a tick so that is going to be better than our solar panels as you can see our batteries are filling up quite nicely and they're all filling up evenly as well so that's that's cool good to know but i do appreciate the fact that we are getting better and better sources of power uh more more is yet to come which i'm going to just Put, the, put all this away but yeah more more power gen is to come i may make a couple more of these but i don't want to waste our oil too much i don't want to waste too much of our oil because once we start getting into the higher uh higher uh ages like the next age farming age we can do forest forestry so we basically start doing uh uh you know sturdy casings from a carpenter and we can start getting fur further and further and further into it. And then, you know, as like we've been doing before, if we run into an obstacle where we need like a certain machine, then we have to, you know, take the setback and do the certain machine. But, uh, yeah, I think everything's going well, going well, really, really well that so far. So I'm actually going to put my suit away. And, um... Yeah, put my armor back on, and I think that's going to call it for an episode. Yeah, we've got our we got ourselves. Uh, not only did we get ourselves a double crusher and uh, things of that nature last episode, we also got us some power this episode. So we're doing really, really, really well. I'm I'm very very happy with that, especially since we have power beyond belief now. Because these I need to fill, get that filled up. I need to find some way of get automation. Uh, so we can get keep give, keep, uh, keep that up to par, so that way I don't have to keep doing it manually. But before we can, we have to learn to crawl before we can walk. So I just I'll keep on top of it, and that way if we do run out of power, and then I'm like, hey, what's wrong with the power? Then I realize, hey, we're out of oil. So then we just take care of business. But anyway, thank everybody for watching. If you have any tips, tricks, or any other related things to uh minecraft age of engineering and you would like to share them with me like if i'm building something wrong or if i'm like too many wires everywhere i do apologize for that ahead of time because yeah but anyway yeah if you have any tips tricks or any other kind of things you would like me to build as far as you know 
Minecraft is concerned or even Age of Engineering or any mods and things of that nature, please do let me know in the comments below. I will be happy to answer them. I do check my comments every single day so that way your your comments will not be unheard. I will be I will hear your comments if you leave them. But anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do remember to give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, see you later.